Uh, speaking of somebody that thinks he could be Eminem, Simba. Simba, Simba, Simba. I actually like Simba. He's pretty good. He's a pretty good artist. Uh, but what he said about Eminem recently here is kind of corny, and I think it's a reach for attention. So let me play the clip for you guys. I respect Eminem on a level as a man, but as a rapper, Come on, I feel Simba. like... I feel Eminem, like I can Marshall name Mathers. five better rappers. The Slim Shady LP, Marshall Mathers LP. It's fire. Eminem show. It's fire. Oh, so, man. So, so, wait, so, wait, 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 wait. So you think you better than Eminem? No. Oh. <laughs> Tara about to start some shit. Oh, uh -oh. Tara. Let's wreck it. I, no, like, I just want to know. Do you think you better than Eminem? You want my honest opinion? Yeah, I want your honest opinion. Yes. I think every rapper's going to say that they're better. Yes. Uh, I'm, I'm not mad at that. I respect it. You feel that way. I Any, respect it. Anybody can rhyme words. What are you saying? Oh, man. But t t the, Simba, the lady asked Hey, the girl that's yelling, the girl that's yelling, <laughs> rap me an Eminem verse. Oh. I agree with Simba saying that, um, not that I agree with what Simba's, you know, like him saying he's better than Eminem. I disagree with that. I don't think he's better than Eminem. But I agree with Simba saying, because he should feel like he's the best thing. You know, if you're a rapper, you should feel like that. That's not that's not something that should be, you know, you should feel like you're the best. There's nothing wrong with that. But him just saying, you know, all Eminem does is just rhyme random words and it doesn't matter. Mm, that's not true. I feel like that narrative is pushed so much to Eminem. The white thing, the random hoobla rhyming, just because it doesn't connect with the culture like that, like with uh, African-American culture and black people in general, he doesn't really connect like that with that because a lot of black people say, I don't bump in the clubs. He's not the type of music I listen to. I don't want to listen to somebody talking about killing their mom, whatever the case may be. He does have stories. He knows how to write great stories, even on Revival, even though I do not. Actually, it might not be on Revival. I might be tripping. Actually, Revival did have uh, a couple of uh, tracks that I was like, okay, this is cool. Um, but the song Darkness, I don't want to be alone. In the dark. That was a music to be murdered by. That's a storytelling record about the Las Vegas shooter. I mean, he has records where, uh, what's the song? Put you all on my stepping stone on Kamikaze, I think. That was another. Like, he has great storytelling records where he's speaking about real shit. I think people are just throwing out this fact that he just rhyming random shit and just rhyming words. Like, it's not it's not that easy. It's not just as simple as rhyming words. That's where the disrespect comes from. That's that part. If Simba just said, yo, I feel like I'm a better rapper than Eminem, I could be giving him. Okay. You should feel like that. You know, what's wrong with that? But why does Eminem get dragged in these situations? Because I think... It's because I think they know that Eminem is going to respond. So to get their clout, to get their attention, they're going to call out Eminem. Um, I have no problem with Simba saying he's better than Eminem because he should feel like that. But when you say he just rhymes words, that's not true, man. There's a whole craft and art skill to this that takes a lot of time and dedication. And if you actually sit there and dissect the bars, probably eight times out of ten, Eminem is speaking on some shit, like some real shit. You know, there are some times where he has fun and it just, you know, he just jumps on random stuff and just says random things. Of course, every artist, I think, has that. But to just, you know, brush it off as, ah, oh, he's just rhyming words. If he was just rhyming words, then he wouldn't be at the top position he's at right now. If he was just somebody that just rhymes words, doesn't care. That guy literally impacted people's lives because he actually spoke on real shit. So it's like, you know. Anyways, uh, yeah, just another clout thing that I think Simba's going after. Uh, to say that he just rhymes words is just, like, very dismissive of Eminem's ability and talent. So I disagree with that. I, I'm i perfectly fine with him saying he's better than Eminem. Every artist should feel like they're the best ever. That's why you get into hip Bob. That's why you're a rapper, to feel like you're the best. Nothing wrong with that. When Game said it, I always said there's nothing wrong with that. But when you start clowning, you know, and saying all it does is rhyme words or all, you know, he never gets played in the clubs and all this dumb shit. Like, I'm sure I wouldn't be surprised if Eminem responds to him and says, I like the Eminem responds to the music, man. I'm a fan of that. Shout out to Eminem for keeping hip hop alive. He isn't going on social media clowning people and just responding like that or getting his goons out to go attack people. Responding to the music, man. And he owned he owned the game. He owned Melly Mel. He owned Generation Z, whatever the fuck. He owned everybody on that uh, realist verse. So I'm sure Eminem will probably, who knows, might say something about this. But 